Hey guys, welcome back to the Sal Patera channel. Today, we're gonna to talk about some of the small things that you can do, which will make your cruise vacation even better. Hey guys, welcome back. Before we begin with these cruise tips, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as the little button right next to it and that'll let you know whenever we upload new videos. Also, if you like our channel, we now have a Patreon account. I'll put that address right here on the screen as well as down in the comments. And if you wanna support our channel, you can go to Patreon and you can get that handled as well. Okay, this first tip may seem pretty obvious. This is what me and my wife do. If you're like us, we plan our vacation months in advance. Now what we do is we get a water jar that we use for our five gallon water cooler. We put it in our bedroom and every time we come home, anything less than $5, so any $1 bills and any change in our pockets, we throw into that water jar. And it really does add up. Come cruise time, we normally have between three and 500 extra dollars that we can use just for anything we want on board the cruise ship without having to ever take out our wallet. Okay, this one might seem pretty obvious too, but if you have the spare time, research where you're going for your cruise and learn a few key phrases. Certainly, hello, goodbye, thank you, please, and most importantly, can you tell me where the restroom is? Knowing these few key phrases will really make your vacation better because you'll be able to communicate with the local community. Okay, now as a seasoned traveler and somebody who used to work for the airline, I can't stress this one enough. Extend your vacation and arrive to your cruise port the day prior to your cruise. Now, not only will you extend your vacation by a day and you can check out the local community where your cruise is leaving from, but I can't tell you how many people I have met that have been flying in for the cruise the day of and one delay of a plane and boom, they've missed their cruise. The ship is not going to wait for you. Now you may say, well, I'm gonna be flying in from someplace warm, the odds of my ship, or my flight rather, being delayed is pretty small. What you have to understand is even if you live someplace warm, that flight may not be originating where you're coming from. It may have came from someplace cold and snowy first before it gets to your destination city. And one backup, literally anywhere in the country, can delay flights all around the country and cause you to miss that cruise ship. So I strongly, strongly advise you always come in the day prior to your cruise. That way you don't have to worry about any unforeseen circumstances. arrive on time. Now some people are going to disagree with me upon this and this is especially true if you're taking Carnival Cruise Lines but arrive at the time your ticket tells you to arrive. Now on Carnival specifically when you do your online check-in at Carnival.com they're going to give you a boarding time. There's no reason to come hours behind that boarding time because they're only going to sit and make you wait. Particularly on Carnival if you're more than a half hour early now and this is a new policy so those of you who are going to write in the comments oh I've showed up plenty early before this is a new policy that just started this last year. If you come more than a half an hour prior to your reservation time, they're going to make you wait outside the cruise port until a half hour before your time. So there's really no reason to come earlier than your expected printed time on your boarding pass because you're only going to wait, whether it be outside the terminal or in the terminal, you're only going to have a waiting time. And really, why sit around and wait when you can go and have a nice breakfast somewhere, come at the time you're expected to board, get right on the ship, and start enjoying your vacation. Okay, this next one is a tip that most seasoned travels will already know. When you arrive on the cruise ship, take 15 minutes and unpack all of your bags. Put all your clothes in the drawers, put all your toiletries in the bathroom, and unpack as if you're living at home. Trust me, a week will go by so much nicer and so much easier if you're going through your drawers rather than opening up a suitcase every time you need something. So take that extra 10 minutes, unpack your bags. Believe me, you'll be glad you did. always bring a couple of extra dollars for tipping. Now, of course, the cruise line is automatically gonna add 15% gratuity to most things like your drinks and things like that. But trust me, it's always nice to bring an extra 25 or $30 so when somebody treats you extra nicely, you can hand them a $5 bill and just say thank you. Not only is it gonna make their day, but it's gonna make yours as well for doing something extra.
Okay, so you're on a cruise ship and you're certainly not there alone and there's gonna be lots of people in wheelchairs or other special needs. Do something nice for them, go out of your way. If a elevator is almost full and somebody's coming with a wheelchair, step out, take the steps, let them have the elevator. Remember, they need the extra assistance. Also, if you're on the gangway and you see somebody that's having a hard time with their wheelchair, maybe getting over that little lip on the gangway, offer a little bit of assistance. Make somebody's day, be kind to each other, and you'll feel better about it in the long run. This next one is pretty simple. Take a moment out of your day, get up early or stay up later in the evening and watch a sunrise or sunset. Just find some place serene on the ship where there's not too many people, sit back, have a drink and enjoy that moment you've been waiting for your whole life and really watch the, the sunset in, or the sunrise. It'll really make your day. Now this next one depends on whether or not you can afford it or not, but surprise somebody. Walk up to a stranger and offer to buy them a drink. Tell them no strings attached, maybe ask them to pay it forward to somebody else, but just do something nice for somebody that you don't know and it'll make you feel great. Okay, now you saved all that extra money in your coin glass, which was one of our first tips. So what to do with it? Don't be afraid to buy yourself something nice. You saved for this cruise, you've earned this cruise. Buy yourself something in the gift shop that's going to make you remember it, whether it be a t-shirt or a watch or just something special that's going to remind you of your vacation. The next one is pretty easy. You're sharing the ship with 3,000 other guests and if you're like me, you're probably eating nonstop as well. So when you can, take the stairs. Don't ride the elevator every time. It's always going to be crowded. Leave some room for other people. Particularly if you're only going one flight, why wait three or four minutes for an elevator when you can just walk one flight of steps, get that little extra bit of exercise, and leave space for somebody else. Now some of you may have this next one really hard. I know I do, especially in the business that I'm in. But when you're on your cruise, disconnect. Don't bring your laptop if you don't have to. Definitely don't turn on your cell phone unless you want a huge cell phone bill when you get home. But disconnect from the internet, disconnect from everybody. Have a special time that you've told people at home that you're gonna call and check in with them once a day. Use the ship's phone, it's only a couple dollars. And just once a day check in. But for the rest of the time, disconnect. Enjoy the fact that you're out at sea, away from all of your troubles and just enjoy your vacation without having all of your electrical components. Now this next one is a big one. You're on a ship and believe me, all of the crew want you to have the absolute best vacation that you can have. But sometimes, as if you're on a land vacation, something can go wrong. If something does, Go to guest services and please let them know. They will do everything in their power to make your vacation the best. But I will caution you, the best way to get something fixed is to be nice, have a smile on your face, and stay calm. When things go wrong, and things do go wrong, I promise they will do their very best to get it handled for you. Okay, that's it for this video. I hope you learned a couple new things. And if there's some tips that you have that I didn't cover, please make sure you comment down below. I try to respond to all of your comments. Hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification, and I'll see you next time.